Hello love bugs! Welcome back to my channel Simply Jade 101. If this is your first time checking me out, let me start by introducing myself. My name is Jade and this is my channel Simply Jade 101. So I'm so excited to bring this tutorial to you guys. If you are not new to my channel, then you know that I've already done a tutorial on faux locks and if you haven't seen that I'll link it below um, that video got a lot of great feedback a lot of people love the faux locks they love my installation process and how easy I made it look but what's great about this new style these are crochet yes girl I did not spend three days putting these in again these are crochet faux locks from the Janet collection this is their new two times Havana Mambo full lock dread hair. So I'm so excited to bring you guys this video. Um, I kind of structured this video as a talk through tutorial so it's not a traditional tutorial the way I do it where um, I just kind of do a voiceover. I'll just be having clips inserted as I talk to kind of give you an idea of how I installed these. Now this was actually my first time doing any type of crochet style on myself. Um, I've actually been doing hair on the side so if you're in the New Jersey area be sure to contact me I'll link my information below but I've been doing hair on the side and I've actually done a few different crochet styles but I haven't done them on myself so it was really interesting to you know kind of flip my hands in the direction that I wasn't used to um, to install these on myself so being that it was my first time installing these um, on myself there was a little bit of a learning curve as I think we all should expect with a new style. Um, it's really really easy to do but just expect to kind of get over the hump of using the crochet needle and all of that. But um, I'm just gonna get right into the questions that I'm sure you guys have. The main questions like how long did it take, the color of the hair, um, of course how many packs I use, things like that. So um, to begin, in terms of the amount of time it took, okay so I call myself trying to be a little fancy with it and I decided that I was gonna do my braid pattern differently from how a lot of people do their braid patterns with the Janet Collection hair usually the hair is corn rolled in the front and then just corn rolled straight down but I knew that in terms of the styles that I wanted to accomplish with this hair I wanted to kind of wear it up in a bun or something like that so I did my braid pattern in a way that would allow me to put it up and it not look like it's crochet in the back of my hair so this is my first braid pattern and I say first because yes that braid pattern did not work so I put this was my braid pattern I did the braid pattern I installed the full lock hair about halfway through I realized that wasn't gonna work so I took out the full lock hair I took out the braid pattern and I started over so we're not even gonna count that time that that I was doing a little trial and error so I redid the braid pattern and this was my new braid pattern basically it's just your simple braid pattern but I did keep um, I did still want to stay with my idea of wearing it up so I did put a braid at the bottom of my neck um, so that I could wear it up in a bun. So here's how I installed it guys. You take the crochet needle with the latch open, you slide it underneath the braid, take the loop of your hair and attach it right to uh, the tip of the crochet needle. You close the latch and you slide that right through the other side of the braid. Undo the hook, open the loop, slide that faux lock hair right through the loop, and you pull it tight. It's really pretty simple. There's actually a lot of tutorials on how to install it, so I didn't want to focus too much on that part. But basically, you just do that all the way down the braid until you get to the front of your hair. I used seven packs of hair for this style. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not one, I don't like a lot of hair on my head. Um, I don't think that I carry 
you know a massive amount of hair very well so I was actually trying to go for six packs but I'll explain a little bit later why I ended up having to use seven but I used seven packs of hair this hair is very it's very light very fluffy very flexible as you can see like it's just very very soft not like the heaviness of my other full locks but like I said I do have seven packs of hair on my head so with seven packs you're gonna get some bulkiness some heaviness even though the hair the individual strands are very light but with seven packs of hair I've found that it's virtually impossible for me to put all of the hair up like if I try it's just I can't even do it I can't even do it the hair um I'm not saying it can't be done but I am not able to put all of this hair on top of my head so it's not necessarily heavy but it is heavy considering there's seven packs of hair on your head what else do I want y'all to know oh here's the catch so this hair is actually one week old I decided that when I put it in I didn't want to jump on right away because I wouldn't be able to give you guys a review if I installed it and then started talking. So I decided to wear the hair for a week so that I could give you a full review on the hair. So I think for one week old, it looks, I think, really good. There's been like little stray hairs here and there that I'll just snip off to keep it looking fresh. But um, this hair is really, I think it holds up really well. Um, I guess the one... The one thing I can say that was a little difficult for me, and this isn't really a reflection of the Janet collection hair, this is just really how I am when it comes to a lot of hair on my head. It's It can be hard for me to sleep sometimes, but I found um, there's a night routine that I kind of, that I came up with that I think really helps with this hair. Um, I don't have my special scarf with me right now, but if you follow me on Instagram, I encourage you to follow me on Instagram because I'll post a mini tutorial on there of how I sleep with this hair. So if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you go and follow simplyjade underscore 101. And like I said, you'll see my night routine on my Instagram page. So yeah, like I really, I really like this hair. I think that because I did regular full locks and then now the crochet full locks, I think I have a really good grasp of, um, you know, like the pros and cons of both. Um, I could definitely say for this, the time without a doubt is like probably what sold me the most. Um, it just took, it didn't take me three days like it took with my first full lock style, which was a great style, but the time, it was just way too time consuming. Oh yeah, my jewelry, I just kind of, I kind of made some of these like this one is just a little makeshift lock jewelry that I made these I just got from the beauty supply store just to kind of add some spunk to it um, what's great about this hair it is reusable if you take it out the right way you can reuse it for another install um, not sure if I will do that I'll keep you guys posted Oh yeah, another thing. Prior to installation, I was a little concerned about the shininess of the hair. I didn't want it to look too synthetic, too unnatural, um, but that wasn't a problem once I installed the hair. I can say that it looks very organic in person. Um, it doesn't look as shiny as I thought it did, and that was definitely a plus for me. Um, I was excited about that. So I thank you guys for watching. Um, I, I tried to think of all the questions that you would ask, but of course, I'm sure there are other questions that someone can come up with. So if you have any questions, just leave me a comment below. I'll be sure to answer. Um, if you want to know anything else about this hair, about the installation, just, yeah, leave me a comment below. I am, I've actually committed to doing one video a week now. One video a week. That is really tough, guys, but I'm committing to it. You guys are going to be my accountability partner. Um, so make sure you subscribe. I have so many more creative tutorials in store, so make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss them. Other than that, thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video. So if you like the style, give it a thumbs up. And I thank you guys for watching. As always, thank you for the support. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Baby, you the best, hands down. Uh huh. So special. You so fine, God bless.
special Other girls not an issue Cause baby you the best hands down